there. Uh, part of our uh, homestead's uh, tasks is to wipe away biting flies. No, it's actually to get the water for our irrigation tank. So I've been using the truck and I've been uh, putting that in the back of it. First of all, I never was able to have that right above the uh, axle on the truck. And um, it doesn't weigh that much, but I think it's 8.3 uh, pounds per gallon of water. So when that is uh, almost full, it's 270 gallons. It's a little bit more than 2,200 pounds. So I have had some pieces uh, uh, sliding back and forth. And it has been a total mess. So I actually, so I actually put together a little puzzle, and this is the first time I put together the puzzle. So <laughs> let's see how it works. Okay, this is the main frame. Second piece. Like this is so tight, and there's a kind of like a, an edge. There's a pole inside here, so I could not. I could not get this in if I screwed it. So that's why it's loose. And since that is loose, I created this one. In there. So the only purpose of these things back here is to pull the weight because we have really steep bumpy hills so when that is uh, 2200 pounds and I drive up the hills it will uh, move a little bit backwards so now it is uh, um, a piece of wood between here and here and here and this is leaning against the post here and the post here and this piece that I had from before will now be leaning against the bottom of the hatch. tailgate tailgate so the next thing I need to do is these two I'll do this with me as well Bending these, and that I like it. So it's not totally tight, but it's good enough. And I put a little block of uh, wood on each side, so it doesn't really move. So it is pretty good here. Now the only thing left is to put the tank in here, and uh, I have a little bit of wiggle room. It doesn't matter. Uh, but I have a little bit of wiggle room so I can get the tank in and out. And when I have the tank in and outwards, I'll put that there. And then it will all stay in place. Let's, let's see how it works. I'm good to go. 